Hey guys, Tom here, and today I am bringing you my WWE Raw preview. Before we get into this, if this video can get 300 likes, I will do a Raw review tomorrow, talking everything about Monday Night Raw. But today, we're also talking everything about Monday Night Raw, but we're predicting and talking about news and rumours for tonight's Monday Night Raw. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, I will be tweeting throughout the show. We don't take anything too seriously. It's jokey, funny tweets about tonight's show. So follow me on Twitter for a bit of good banter on tonight's Raw. Anyway, let's get right into this, talking about news and rumours and predictions for tonight's show. Last week's show was fucking awesome. So this week's show, hopefully it's just as good, but they don't have a Finn Balor debut. They won't probably have a women's title match. So hopefully this week they can continue that momentum they got on last week's Raw. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this Raw is just as good because it would be damn awesome. So Monday Night Raw this week is coming from the Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. And the biggest story on tonight's show will be about Brock Lesnar making his seemingly controversial return to the WWE on tonight's Monday Night Raw. So he will be there to hype up his big match against Randy Orton at this year's SummerSlam. There was speculation a few months ago and recently that Paul Heyman hadn't signed a new contract with the WWE, but apparently he will be on tonight's Raw, according to PW Insider and Jim Ross himself. They have actually said that Paul Heyman will be on tonight's Raw to help hype up the match between Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton, which is great news. Apparently, he hasn't actually signed a new contract, but instead, he will be on tonight's show and will just be working set dates as he pleases. So, he won't be signing a set deal with the WWE, but they'll just pay him per date, like on tonight's Monday Night Raw, which is great because this feud will be a lot better with Paul Heyman. So, here we go. Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar will be on tonight's Raw to hype up the match with SummerSlam, but we, we haven't actually seen a Raw guy against a SmackDown guy yet. This is the first feud where we've got brand versus brand, so we're not really sure if Randy Orton is going to appear on tonight's Raw, but history kind of tells us that this will just be a plain old simple promo from Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar, he probably won't do much. He'll probably just stand there. He'll probably just dance around and Paul Heyman will talk and that will be it because history usually repeats itself. So he probably won't get too much from Brock Lesnar tonight, but he will be there on tonight's show. I am pretty excited to see how Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar react to the quote that Randy Orton said about no enhancement needed. That will be quite funny on tonight's show. Also, there actually hasn't been any announcement if Brock Lesnar will appear at any other dates before SummerSlam. So this potentially could be the last time we see him before his big match against Randy Orton. So it should be good on tonight's show. Also on last week's Monday Night Raw, Finn Balor won two matches on his debut on Monday Night Raw, which was huge. So he'll now face Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam. So we're yet to see what the hell this championship looks like. So hopefully maybe on tonight's Raw, we might actually get a glimpse of that Universal Championship. There's been lots of speculation as to what it looks like, but maybe the big news on tonight's Raw could be that they unveil that title belt. Now, the two former NXT champions will go at it for that championship at SummerSlam, but they've never actually stepped in the ring together, so it'll be really interesting to see how each other interacts with one another on tonight's Monday Night Raw. And also, news coming out of last week's Raw was that Roman Reigns was going to be replaced by Finn Balor as the top guy. So, Finn Balor, he will be book strong going into this year's SummerSlam. So, on tonight's Raw, who is he going to face and who is he going to beat on tonight's show? Speaking of Roman Reigns, his stock has severely dropped in the last eight days. He lost clean at Battleground to Dean Ambrose and he also lost to Finn Balor in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Pretty unheard of. Nobody expected that to happen. And apparently, Roman Reigns, he's not going to be the top guy anymore. Vince McMahon wants to punish Roman Reigns for what he did about that suspension. So, we're not really sure where Roman Reigns fits in for SummerSlam. He's not going to be in the Universal Championship match. He certainly isn't going to be in the WWE Championship picture. So, so where does he fit in? Is he even going to have a match? Now, he could just job out to Rusev at SummerSlam. We really don't know. So, maybe on tonight's Raw, we should kind of get a good idea of where Roman Reigns is heading for SummerSlam. But it really doesn't look 
good. Now, theoretically, it would be the perfect time for Roman Reigns to turn heel. This would be the time to do it. He's pissed off with Vince McMahon. He's annoyed that he's not getting a Universal Championship match. He's just not the guy anymore. So wouldn't it be perfect to turn him heel on tonight's show? Then we would really be excited to see what Roman Reigns can do with that. And then we would kind of really have an idea of what he's going to do at SummerSlam. Also, speaking of frustration with Roman Reigns, we've also got frustration on Charlotte's end because she lost the Women's Championship to Sasha Banks only seven days ago on last week's Monday Night Raw. So how is she going to react to that loss? He has actually already invoked her rematch clause at SummerSlam, but I'm really interested to see how she actually reacts to Sasha Banks because just before she lost, she actually whispered, you will never beat me. So how is she going to react to that? And how is Sasha Banks going to react to winning the Women's Championship? It should be pretty epic. They are going to build towards a rematch at SummerSlam, so that should be pretty interesting to see on tonight's show. So on last week's Raw, we also got Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson attacking the new day. That was during the Sonny Boy thing, which was really, really bad and cringy. But apparently they are going to have a new chapter for the Tag Team Championship. And that new chapter involves the club. So it'll be the club against the New Day at SummerSlam is probably what's going to happen. So what is going to happen on this week's Raw? Are the club once again going to attack the New Day? But I'm really interested in this feud because I think that the club... It's been a long time coming. They need to be taken seriously. And I think they could potentially really take the titles off the new day at SummerSlam. So watch out for this one. How will the club continue to put pressure on the new day? Also on last week's Raw, two wrestlers got squash matches. The squash matches returned. So we had Braun Strowman and Nia Jax both in squash matches. Personally, I don't really like squash matches. They're pretty, pretty, pretty bad, pretty boring. They don't really do anything for me. But apparently that is set to continue for both Nia Jax and Braun Strowman. And more importantly, Braun Strowman. Apparently he really is going to get pushed to the top in the Raw roster. So watch out for that one. Could he potentially start taking on two, three opponents at a time in these squash matches? But watch out for those to continue on tonight's Raw. That is the news going round. So with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens having two epic matches at Payback and also at Battleground eight days ago, we really want to see a rematch. We want to see one last match between these two, but nothing was mentioned it on last week's Raw. Nobody mentioned this feud. It doesn't really seem like it's going to continue, but is it going to continue? I really want to see one more match at SummerSlam. Imagine a Hell in the Cell match to finish the feud off between Sammy and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens won at Payback. Sammy won at Battleground. So it kind of makes sense that we get one more match. Surely, hopefully on tonight's Raw, we do actually get a sense that we are going to get one final match between Sammy and Kevin Owens. That would be great. Now, last week on SmackDown Live, Rhino Gord Heath Slater. Now, I didn't really like this. Heath Slater cut one of the best promos He'll ever cut in his career, and then he got gored, so it was completely pointless. But will Heath Slater go on to Monday Night Raw tonight and try and get himself signed by Stephanie McMahon and Mick Foley? He tried it on SmackDown. He tried Daniel Bryan and Shane to sign him. It didn't really work out for him. Will he try on Monday Night Raw to see if he can get signed? I'm guessing so, so watch out for that one. Lastly, SmackDown Live announced Shelton Bloody Benjamin was going to sign with the blue brand. So how will the Raw brand react to that? Are they going to have somebody they're going to sign on tonight's Raw? When I think of that, I think of Carlito or John Morrison. Are they going to announce somebody themselves who is going to come to the WWE? That would be pretty, pretty huge. Anyway, 300 likes is the aim on today's Raw preview. Follow me on Twitter for live tweeting throughout the show. It's funny, it's banter, just do it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care. Spike your hair.